Hey, good morning. Welcome to Nonsense Nuisance. This is Sri, your enter trainer. Here's a new perspective on commute. Okay, a lot of us go to office, a lot of us travel. Um, people who are still working from home are considered really lucky, but in many places, we've been asked to go back to work, right? So, it's not all that bad. It's, it's pretty good meeting up people and uh, uh, getting to know, um, getting back to the good old way of uh, things. Um, one of the biggest problems people are now facing is commute time because um, I think the the frequency of the buses have reduced, um, so your wait time is more, um, the number of people in the bus is crowded, um, and this is what I observe around me. Um, so the thing is, what used to take me sometimes uh, 30 to 40 minutes now takes an hour plus. So what do I do about this commute, right? Um, and being in Singapore, uh, this place is really humid. So even though I wake up fresh and uh, get ready and by the time I go to the bus stop, I'm already wet, right? <laughs> Soaking wet. So, um, uh, and it doesn't help that you board a bus and then it's an overcrowded, overcrowded bus and um, you just don't feel fresh anymore by the time you go to office. So one of the most common things that people do uh, during the commute is sleep. Now, let me tell you this, okay? Once you're awake and once you go back to sleep, have you have you have you noticed this? There are days when you get up, you snooze your alarm and you snooze and snooze and snooze, and then when you finally get up, you are actually so tired, you are uh, mentally drained. There's something happens, and this is called as the uh, what do you call it? The sleep inertia. That's what they call it. They call it the sleep inertia. So there's a kind of inertia that sets up once you don't wake up from your bed. The very first or second time right now you're up and then you finally go to work and in the bus you continue this right and in the bus you're not going to sleep sound you're again going to sleep and wake up and sleep and wake up and sleep and wake up you see where this is going to go you are going to have one of the worst days <laughs> when you go in that frame of mind uh, it's not, not really your fault it's just that that's how it is right now, what can be done for those who love sleeping during the commute? So here's what I would recommend, okay? Go and experiment and get yourself some meditation videos. Oh my God, not meditation again. I've heard this so many times. No, you haven't. The thing is, if you haven't started meditating, it means you haven't found the right videos, okay? So go and get yourself, explore a particular meditation that suits you. Okay, uh, there's, there's plenty out there. Some of them are talk, some of them are crap, some of them are really good, some of them are different types of meditation, like trans meditation and things like that. Find out one that works for you. Okay, and how do I know? How do you know what works for you? You got to try it out. <laughs> it's simple. You have to find out, keep, keep looking at it until you will suddenly strike one. And then YouTube does its best by keep going on, going on recommending something similar, right? So, meditation works uh, for me personally um, the, uh, from art of living there's a meditation called the journey within uh, that really um, helps me clear the brain fogs that i have it helps me uh, stay focused it helps me um, kind of get the rest i want to rest so when you go when you meditate on your way you may still fall asleep okay but that is something i call as a rest it is not sleeping actually so you're kind of conscious that that uh, something is playing and something is going on but at the same time you get that necessary rest and believe me okay i've done this for years together when you wake up after that meditation you have more energy than when you woke up from your bed okay there's something really uh, special about that so how can how can you try it just go and download and i have a few startup ones in the in the description below so you can um, give that um, give any of it a try experiment okay experiment so the second thing um, that helped me a lot on the commute time is books books okay um, uh, you'll always find two books in my bag now it could be books on myriad of topics. My my circle revolves around how to make life better, right? <laughs> so what works, what doesn't work. So I have a lot of books in this area. So I bare minimum I carry two. So when I feel bored with one, then I go to the next one. And uh, these are all books. These are not those long story or those advice books that I get uh, on the net. No, uh, these are all uh, bite size, uh, maybe two pages a chapter that give you those strategies to keep the day going, right? 
So the third thing I would um, uh, do is, uh, of course, listen to music. Um, good music uh, is always um, uh, empowering, and uh, you get that uh, that good sleep. Um, so what else can I do uh, during the commute time? What else can I? Um, uh, how else can I make my commute time useful? If you have any good strategies, let me know below. Okay. So until my next video, this is Sri, your entertainer, signing off from Nonsense to Nuisance. Bye bye.